Look, John, um, the guy says if you spike it again, you know, he's going to kick you out. You said? I said, well, let me go snatch 150 on my second attempt, and then we'll go grab a beer. And I said, also, my buy a steak. Yeah. I snatched 150, <laughs> and I walked in the back, and I took my shoes off. And as I'm taking my shoes off, I guess Trav came up to me and said, um, you're good. Yeah. But the point of the story is, is that I would never sell the fuck out. You hear me? You think I'm a fucking sellout? I'm Attitude Nation to the death, motherfucker. I'm a skeleton that plays my violin in the dark, motherfucker. I got shankle blood. I come from the school of shankle. A man that sticks by his beliefs. A man that taught me almost everything I know today. You think I'm going to sell out in front of a national audience, a worldwide audience? I'm not kidding when I say this. I would rather put a pistol in my mouth and bro my fucking brains out than walk out to my second attempt and not slam the bar. Not for me. Not for me. For you. And you think I'm kidding. I did that for us. I did that for the Attitude Nation. I did that for the people that support me and that I support, that read my blog, that cry with me, that laugh with me, that celebrate joy with me and accept pain with me. For the people that listen to this podcast now, for the garage lifters, for the gym lifters, for the CrossFit lifters, for the power lifters that are in a different sport but still can relate, for John B that arm wrestles but can still relate, the coaches that don't even lift but coach the black sheep lifestyle. That bar slam represented more than a bar slam. That bar slam represented standing up for not only our lifestyle, but what we believe in. I'm not a fraud and I'm not a sellout. And any day of the week, I would rather get kicked out of a meet than sell my soul to the fucking devil.